Well, <clears throat> welcome back to another week, another spray paint challenge. So, uh, the shit weather that we've had, pardon my French, uh, as now this is Sunday, it's now gone and we've got glorious sunshine. So, the van is getting uh, about eight amps of solar, which is good. Because I'm down to about 30, 40% on my lithium. So getting a good charge. And today's job is just to take, start taking all these off again. Uh, taking all these off, which are over here. And then that's just been cleaned up. Let that dry a bit. I'm gonna go over that with acetone and start spray painting again. Try and get that one side finished. And that's uh, the main job today. The other job that I have done, and I'll quickly spin the camera around and I'll show you, is I made a little change to the inside of the van. So let's go and show you that. My other little thing was, is the TV. So the TV used to be in the corner, hanging down off here, which was great because it hid that back corner and all that sort of stuff. However, when you used to drive around, it just used to rattle and bang around no matter how many pillars. So all I did was buy a little TV bracket uh, that goes onto the wall as flush as I can get it. So I've taken this whole board off, mounted the bracket behind here, and that's the TV pretty much in there. Uh, still works, which is good. It gives me a little bit more room in the bed, which is fine. Uh, I am going to have to take the board back off and recut another hole underneath to allow the USB, I think it's not USB, um, the, the cable that comes off the Xbox into the back of the TV. So that's something that's gotta be done as well. So TV does work. Uh, mounted against the wall it just seems a little bit better than what it used to be so now I can go in there and watch uh, some YouTube films or Prime all that sort of stuff so the TV's back up and running uh, that should make it a little bit easier and stuff to watch TV in bed. Anyway, that's the TV mounted up against the wall with the Xbox, so that's all pretty good. Uh, and obviously I can still watch stuff on my iPad while I'm sat on the sofa or in the recliner. Still haven't ripped out the kitchen. I'm, I'm quite reluctant to do it at this moment in time uh, before Christmas and all that sort of stuff because it would leave me without a kitchen basically. I haven't got the time because of work and all that sort of stuff to to completely rebuild that. So I might leave that now as it is until after Christmas. Hachi. Hello. Hello, buddy. Stinky. Look at this. Come on. Hello. Hey. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you're lovely and warm. Yeah, you are. You're lovely and warm. You come to see. Are you the supervisor? Nice bum shot there. Archie. <laughs> oh, is he a bum? <laughs> oh. Perfect weather, perfect weather to get uh, that dried. So I've moved the van from over there where I've been spraying down. That's gonna just sit in the sun there and just bake. And then at some stage we can take off the tape, remove the covering and then take off the 
and then put the back uh, the sides back on. Come on. So that's the last side done. I've run out of spray paint, so I can't really do much else now. So that's four cans I've used on the van to get it all done. So pretty cool, pretty happy that both sides are now done. So now onwards to other things. Uh, I have got a couple of products that I've been sent, which I'm gonna like quickly review to you for you. The first one was a Karcher, a uh, little spray. Um, brilliant, I'm gonna keep that in the van. Take that with me. It's perfect for like spraying off Archie's feet and all that sort of stuff. Comes with like a lift, put a built-in lithium battery uh, and plug adapter for charging up and a little built-in water reservoir so you can fill it up and spray off Archie's feet, which is perfect for what we need. And the second one is like this gas tester, which I've always wanted to buy one of these, but I've never really done it. And I got sent one to test. Now I have in the past believed that I've had a gas link. Um, I have a 25 litre gas tank that's underneath the van. Um, which I've um, turned off and disconnected from what was the old LPG heating system. So that's all been removed. And my future plan is literally uh, next year to get it serviced, the gas tank, um, where the gas comes into the van here, where the old kitchen is. Uh, I'm gonna get that rerouted to come up on this side, on the passenger side where the new kitchen is gonna be. So next year um, we'll be cooking on gas mark six again as they say. So I'm just gonna grab, so this is what I've been sent, uh, top tees or whatever you call it, a combustible gas leak detector, the PT5200 Alpha Plus. Uh, looks pretty cool. So uh, received this a while back. I haven't actually done a review of it as such because I'm crap at reviews. So in the case, you get the LC gas tester with the gas tester nozzle. Uh, recharging cable instruction booklet but that is going to be uh, useful uh, for when we reroute all the gas system as well because like I say I have had issues where I think I've got a gas leak and I've had friends uh, we've changed the gas regulator once it has been on there for nearly three years the gas system underneath the van so that needs a really good service next year which is my plan but this will be invaluable for future uh, when we're back on the road and all that sort of stuff to be able to test the gas system. So that's the plan. So that's pretty cool. These are available on Amazon. Comes in a little carry case, lightweight and simple to use. So that's the Top Tees combustible gas leak detector. PT520 Alpha Plus. So I haven't really got much else to tell you uh, what I've been up to and all that sort of stuff. The outside of the van is pretty much sorted now. Uh, final thing would be to have a roof rack at some stage, hopefully before Christmas. Uh, I am going to buy some external lighting. Uh, I, think, I can't remember what they're called, Pudman or something, Pudman lights. They will run alongside a uh, flush basically with I like external lights that you can put on the outside of vans, small slim line and uh, where the original wiring is for the external lighting, um, I'll just change all that and rerun the lighting and all that sort of stuff. So I plan to still illuminate the outside of the van um, once the new roof rack's on. But apart from that, that is it for now. Uh, we're coming up into November. Um, so I've still got a few more weeks. I still, still might rip that out one weekend. I don't know. Um, we shall see. I've still got time before, uh, Christmas and New Year and all that sort of stuff. But that is pretty much all we've done. So I wanted to get the outside done, the Raptor paint, the, uh, spray painting, uh, all done. The major things I need to do now is I've just ordered a service kit for the van so uh, I'm going to do an oil change change the fuel filter oil filter air filters and all that sort of stuff uh, we just had some new gearbox oil put in as well when we had the drive shaft changed uh, so that's all done so we're just going to give the van a major service before Christmas uh, before we get back on the road for a little uh, jolly in Scotland uh, like I say the TV is now over there so yeah, little things like that. 
Oh, that was slowly getting there. That's what she's saying. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe. So, not much of an update, not much work being done as such, but still quite a lot being done. And uh, we'll keep you updated as we go along, and hopefully, we'll see you back on the road at some stage soon. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye bye.